Hey guys, welcome back to Carnal Dish. Today's video is about this highly requested creamy cauliflower risotto that so many of you have seen me make on my IG stories. It's one of our favorite hearty side dishes for weeknight dinners and meal prep, and it's crazy delicious. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is basically warm some fat, butter, olive oil. I'm gonna throw in some cremini mushrooms or baby bellas. I've also got some tiny little shiitakes that I got from Wegmans. You can use any mushroom variety that you want so long as it's 12 ounces. And we're just gonna season that with some flaky kosher salt and black pepper and make sure that all the mushrooms are completely coated in the fat. Arrange them in an even layer so that they have contact to the bottom of the skillet because we just want these to brown and get nice and pretty like they've been in the sun, okay? And now we're gonna add some crushed red pepper flake just to bring some warmth and heat to the dish. And just saute that around. See how the mushrooms are starting to caramelize? And now we're gonna add some sliced garlic. You can use minced if you don't have the slicing skills, but just don't use that stuff in the jar, okay? Don't do that to me. So you're gonna add the mush or the uh, garlic and just keep sauteing that around for about a minute. And we're gonna add the fresh herbs. I've got sage, I've got dill and rosemary. You can use whatever you want. And I'm adding just a little bit more fat because I needed it. And now I'm adding the fresh spinach and a little bit of chicken stock just to deglaze the bottom of the pan and to help the spinach wilt a little bit faster. Saute that around until most of the liquid is evaporated. And then you're gonna add your defrosted, par-cooked, riced cauliflower. You can get this from Costco. I highly suggest you get it from Costco. So you're gonna add some white wine here, which is a very typical flavor component in a risotto. And just continue to saute that. You may need to adjust the heat so that everything steams and the liquid evaporates. And I'm just seasoning mine up with some flaky kosher salt, black pepper, a little granulated garlic. You can use whatever you want. This is a completely blank slate, so flavor it how you want. Mix it all around. You just you see all that steam coming out? That's exactly what you want. When most of the steam is gone, that's when you're gonna add the heavy cream. Don't add all the heavy cream at once because you do not want this swimming in heavy cream. Um, it's gonna thicken as it simmers, but again, you don't want like soupy risotto, okay? That's not what we're going for here. So I'm just letting that steam a little bit, letting the heavy cream thicken and get luscious and creamy. And I'm adding in some lemon zest. <laughs> so zest the whole lemon and add that in there. That's gonna give it a nice brightness, give it a taste, make sure that it tastes really good. Mine needed a little bit more salt. And at this point, it was perfect. So while that's bubbling away, I'm adding all of my Pecorino Romano. You can add as much or as little as you want. I like it nice and cheesy, so I'm adding a little bit more. I ended up using about maybe a little over two cups, but start with two cups and then adjust from there. And just turn off the heat and continue to let this thicken. And I'm telling you guys, it's just like the most perfect side dish. Am I about to eat that entire half chicken? You goddamn right I am. I'm about to that shit up, okay? Super quick, easy, and delicious, keto-friendly, and low-carb. I hope you guys give this recipe a try. Check the description box below for the recipe. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And hit that bell notification so you know when I post more videos. See you guys next time. Bye. Oh, oh, make you wanna lick the plate. I know you love the way it tastes. Carnal dishes.